What's up guys, it's Teppo here from Finland. It is still freezing and super dark here in Finland, hence the need for this artificial sun. Thanks again, Aperture. Look at this thing, it's just huge. I'm getting my fake tan and vitamin D supply from Aperture, so thank you guys, you're keeping me alive here in Finland. But today we're gonna to be talking about something super important to the filmmaking process, and that is music selection. Oftentimes, I find music selection super challenging in the filmmaking process because I realize how important it is to the whole project and so I take a whole lot of time choosing the songs, making sure that it's the right song for the project. This means that sometimes I'm literally looking hours upon hours for music and it can drive me nuts, but when you find that perfect song, oh, it feels so good because you know that this song fits the project. The reason why I spend so much time looking for the music is, is that I believe that the music that you edit to is just as important as the footage that you're making the film to. Without the footage, the music would be nothing, but without the music, the footage would be nothing. There would be no final project. So you need both. You need to have great music and great footage in order to make a great film. So essentially, music is a huge make it or break it factor a part of the filmmaking process. So take your time, make sure that you find the right songs because it's huge for the whole video project. Oftentimes the litmus test I use to make sure whether it's a good song or not is that I play it for my wife and if I catch her humming the song later on in the day, I know that I've got a winner. Bingo, the song is ready for the project. But not only is it important that the song is catchy and gets stuck in your head, but as well it's important that it fits the style of your project. You know, even if you had just this really amazing 80s pop song that's so catchy and is in your head all day long, it might not fit a video that you want to be more maybe cinematic and epic. So you gotta find a song that fits the style of your project. For example, if you're going for a super fun, feel good road trip video with your friends, you're probably not gonna wanna choose a song that's super epic and cinematic and serious. Rather, you'd rather choose some sort of song that's really upbeat and happy, like some sort of 80s pop song. Or if you're trying to go for that cinematic epic video, you're not gonna choose some really happy fairy song, rather you're gonna choose a really intense and epic and cinematic song that's gonna suit that cinematic epic film. So you see what I mean? It's not only important that it's a good song, that it's catchy, but as well it's important that the song fits the style of project that you're going for. For example, for my latest travel film from Hawaii, I really wanted that happy, feel-good, summery feel to it because, well, we were in Hawaii and we were on the beach and we were having a good time. So I chose a song that had this kind of happy 80s M83 feel to it and I think it was perfect. I remember when I played the song, my wife at first was like, I don't know if that's a good song, but when I started editing to it and I made the film and I showed her the film the first time, she just couldn't stop humming that song and it was just such a happy and good feel to the travel film, so I knew that this was a winner for the video. But what if I would have chosen a really serious cinematic song for the video? I mean, it probably could have worked, but it wasn't the mood that I was going for as the end project of the video, so it really wouldn't fit. It might work, but it doesn't fit the style that I wanted at the end. I wanted a nice, summery, happy, feel-good travel film, not a super cinematic, epic travel film. So you see what I mean? It's so important that we decide already beforehand what kind of travel film or what kind of filmmaking project are we making and decide what kind of mood is gonna be in it and based on that, choose a song that fits and supports the mood you're going for and the feel that you're going for in the film. Let me show you for example. Here's a part from the Hawaii travel film with that feel good song. Now contrast that to if we had a super serious cinematic song. As you can see, it 
just doesn't work. It, it doesn't have that feel good, happy summary feel that I wanted in the video. So you can see that choosing the song is so crucial to the mood and the style and the feel that you're trying to go for in the film. I know for myself, one challenge that I come to when selecting music is that I have all this amazing footage just waiting for me. So I'm just in such a rush to go and start editing that I almost want to just skip the song selection process and I just quickly choose a song when instead I should really take the time to choose the right song for the film to make sure that the song fits the project because ultimately the song is like the foundation for the whole filming project. You're gonna start editing on top of that and if the song's not right, I don't think the film's gonna turn out right. So make sure you don't rush the song selection process. Make sure you take the time to make sure that the song fits the project. It's so important that in the filmmaking process, we realize that each step is so crucial to the final product. So make sure you take the time in every single stage of the filmmaking process. When it comes to choosing this song, filming the footage, editing the footage, grading the footage, all steps, make sure that you take the time to do your best. I remember when I first started in this filmmaking world, it was actually really hard to find the right songs. There wasn't that many online resources yet. But nowadays, there's so many websites where you can find amazing, great content. For example, there's The Music Bed, Marmoset Music, Artlist, but my favorite of all is Epidemic Sound. I mean, sometimes when I'm doing a one-off project and I need to license a song, I'll probably use The Music Bed. But especially for YouTube and travel films and these tutorial videos, I love using Epidemic Sound. And yes, you should license every single song you use. Guys, imagine if someone downloaded one of your videos, took all the footage and made a whole new video and sold it to some company. You'd be pissed. It's the same with musicians. You know, I can imagine how frustrating it would be if they found one of their songs being used in a film without it being licensed. So guys, let's support musicians just as much as other people support us. So make sure you license every single song because, well, you don't want to steal from other people. We want to do it the right way. In the end, it's really a win-win situation. The more we support musicians, the better music's going to be out there, the better our films are going to be. So let's support the musicians out there. And thank you for all the guys who put so much time, blood, sweat, tears into making amazing music that we can make great films with. Epidemic Sound has a huge variety of music and also their customer service is fantastic. I remember when I signed up, they made a custom playlist just for me based on different projects that I had done before. So it was so easy just to dive into the library of music there and already find great content for my films. When trying to find music through Epidemic Sound, there's so many different filters that you can choose to find the right music. You can choose based on genre, mood, movement, and even place. And as well, they have the energy, tempo, and length. Using all these different filters, you can find the perfect song for your film. So I just want to thank you guys, Epidemic Sound, for making such an amazing service for filmmakers. Honestly, it has saved me so much time and it has helped me find the right songs for the right projects. And just to top it off one bit more, Epidemic Sound even has sound effects. I know for myself, in the past, it was so hard to find good quality sound effects. I was often trying to find some sound effects from freesound.org and yeah, you could find some sound effects there, but really they weren't high quality, but through Epidemic Sound, they even have sound effects. So if Epidemic Sound sounds interesting to you, make sure you check out the link below. I'm gonna make sure to put that there, and it only costs $15 a month. That's such a steal of a deal, because I know from other websites, it can easily cost $50 to $200 just to license one song. Whereas with Epidemic Sound, you pay that $15, and you've got a whole month of just free songs. So go check out that link below, Sign up for Epidemic Sound, support those guys because they're doing a great job. I hope that this tutorial was helpful when it comes to the music selection process. Make sure you choose songs that actually fit your project and make sure that you choose those songs that are going to get stuck in your head that are going to make people just want to watch your films over and over and over again. So guys, that's it for today. I think I might try to go venture outside. I've been taking up cross country skiing a little bit lately. I'm not the best but I gotta become like a Finn. So I'm trying my best to just dive into this Finnish culture. So maybe we'll do some vlogging and cross country skiing soon. Who knows, let's see what we come up with. So guys, I hope this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel because there's gonna be more and more tutorials and travel films and artist profiles and all sorts of vlogs coming out. So make sure you stay tuned by subscribing to the channel. See you guys.